Uh, hey there, everybody. Just doing a review for this Orimo 120 watt uh, four port power delivery wall charger. And so, yeah, this is my first review uh, from this brand called Orimo. Um, they're pretty well known on Amazon, I believe, and uh, they sell pretty well in other countries. Um, so not exactly a new brand to the charging game. Of course, it's just a new brand that I'm reviewing for myself. Um, they did send over this 120 watt charger and just taking a look at the packaging right over here. Their packaging was really nice it was a uh, pretty nice to open up at the front you can just see the charger and um yeah so the packaging for this uh 120 watt rymo charger is just really nice um it felt like i was opening up a apple product to be honest and um one thing that i did find pretty uh lacking for this charger is that it didn't include a cable in the box um, so yeah, I mean, you get like this pretty cool packaging. Okay, let me get my cat out of here just a second. But yeah, anyways, uh, the packaging for this uh, charger is just really nice. It's just that like, I felt like they were um, going to include a charging cable in the box, but they decided not to include a cable. I could imagine a cable being um, in the box with the charger. But uh, yeah, instead in the box, you do get um, an extended warranty card for two years. So that's pretty nice. This is a pretty cool card as well. It's pretty shiny at the front. And uh, you also get the manual right over here. Pretty neat manual. Um, just shows you what's at the front of the charger right there. It does go give you the specifications. Um, yeah, so reading off these specifications, I'm not going to do it right now. Um, instead, I'm going to uh, use their Amazon product page power allocation um, to show you guys the output wattage of the charger because, you know, this is just really confusing to look at right now. Um, it may not be for you, but for me, it's just like a lot to look at and I can't really make sense of it right now. There we go. That is the packaging. This is the charger itself. Um, this is a uh, gallium nitride charger. So that GAN charging technology, it does have a 2.7 by 2.7 inch uh, form factor and it has a 1.2 inch uh, thickness um, and it weighs about 10 ounces. So yeah, these uh, type of chargers, they're small, but at the same time, they can uh, be a little bit heavy because all that charging power is like, you know, packed into such a dense form factor i suppose you could say and uh so yeah i mean a small charger of course but you know 10 ounces that's almost a pound that's like six ounces away from being a pound i believe right um but yeah anyways uh over here this is where you get the charging ports uh three usb c ports and they, and there's a single type a port um there is a green power light that turns on once you plug in the charger into an outlet and uh, in terms of the design of the charger it does have these uh grooves right over here um, well, not really grooves, but they're like they're lines, and it just makes the charger look really cool. Maybe um, you can see them on camera. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, the charger is just a charger. Um, over here, you do get the specifications, and it does have a foldable AC plug, just like that. And uh, yeah, 120 watts of a uh, power delivery. Um, well, not exactly 120 watts of power delivery. Uh, you do get 120 watts of uh, power that you can use uh, from this charger. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the power allocation, just taking a look at the Amazon product page uh, right over here. Yeah, so this is a pretty new chart. I don't know why they just didn't uh, place this chart um, or like more like all these charts right over here into the uh, um, into the manual uh, for the charger because that would because that would have been a lot easier to read. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, um, when it comes to the uh, charging power, uh, single port charging. You're able to use 100 watts of power delivery from uh, C1 and C2 if you're charging a single device at a time. Uh, but from USB-C3 or the USB Type-A port, um, those are going to be able to output 30 watts if you're charging a single device at a time. So uh, yeah, there's that for the uh, um, single port charging. For, but for two port charging, you're able to use uh, 60 watts of power delivery um, from the two uh, from uh, C1 and C2 if you're charging um, two devices at the same time. Um, but power allocation does change uh, quite a bit when you're charging from uh, the uh, C3 and the uh, type A port and you're charging from the uh, C1 or C2 port because you're able to get a uh, 90 watt and 30 watt split of power. And uh, yeah, not really much to explain right there. Um, when you're charging um, three devices at the same time, that's when charging does get a little bit more complicated uh, for this Arimo charger because um, what this uh, charger does is that it doesn't have a set power allocation like some chargers do, like um, you know some U Green or Vault Me chargers that I've reviewed um, in the past. Uh, instead, this is ha this has a more adaptive charging power um, type of design. So, like as you can see right over here, you know if I'm charging from C1, C2, and C3, the uh, charging power allocation can actually change depending on what you're charging. So it's not always like you know if you're charging from uh, the three USB-C ports, the C1 port will not always output 60 watts 
and you know the c2 and c3 port will not always output 30 watts it's all dependent on what you're charging and i'm going to show that in this uh review as well and, and when you get to uh charging four devices at the same time uh power allocation is a lot easier to understand thankfully and uh so yeah i mean it's really dependent on uh, what you're charging from uh, c1 and c2 that's going to um differentiate the uh, charging power and you know once again i'm going to show that in this review as well it's not always the case that c1 um usually is the uh most powerful port on a multi-port charger like this but uh you know c2 can also be the most powerful port it's all dependent on what you're charging but yeah when you're charging uh four devices at the same time the total output combined from c3 and the type a port is going to be 20 watts right there and um yeah i'm basically explaining the power allocation that's all that's already available to you on the amazon product page but uh yeah anyways um with that said i'm gonna go ahead and start testing it out um right now i'm gonna start i'm gonna start charging my accessories power bank um first from the uh, c1 port to see if i'm able to use that 100 watts of power delivery um, from c1 and also c2 i'm going to be using this uh, uh river 2 power station right over here to get an idea of how much uh wattage i'm pulling uh from the charger okay so yeah i got my accessories power bank right here and i'm just going to start charging the uh, power bank it does have a 100 watt uh max recharge rate so i'm just going to see what i can pull from these two uh top c ports because i should be able to pull 100 watts um, but let's see if that's true or not. So that is not quite 100 watts, <laughs> which is kind of strange. Uh, the uh, screen for the uh, River 2 power station is reading 75 watts. Uh, my USB-C meter is reading 66 watts. Let's just see what's happening with my other uh, watt meter. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, my bad. Um, it seems like the watt meter that I was using before was probably not the best one um that was a probably old one but uh yeah i'm getting a 81 recharging speed now with this uh, other USB C watt meter um from the uh c2 port um and so yeah there we go uh the river 2 power station screen is reading 89 watts i would consider this to be not exactly 100 watts but you know i have gotten a higher uh, recharge rate for this uh, power bank uh recharging from a 100 watt uh, power delivery port but uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is okay. This is good enough, I suppose. Let me just test out the uh, C1 port again. Sorry if the uh, recharging stopped right there uh, because the uh, watt meter isn't uh, fully plugged into the USB-C port on the power bank, I think. I think so it comes loose just a bit. But uh, yeah, getting about 78 watts right there. So that's 18 more watts than before when I was using the other watt meter. And we're nearly at 80 watts. River 2 power station screen is reading 85 watts from the C1 port. And uh, yeah, okay, um, not exactly 100 watts, but uh, I'll take it. And so the next device I want to plug in is going to be my uh, Lenovo laptop. And I'm going to charge it from the uh, C2 port to see what happens. And so when I'm charging from the two USB-C ports, um, C1 and C2 at the same time, um, C they should, they should be able to output 60 watts each. And that seems like what's happening right here. Um, yeah, the Accenture's power bank is charging at about 55 watts, as you can see, and my um, Lenovo laptop is charging at about 35 watts. Okay, there we go. Um, and so yeah, they're, they're both pretty even. My laptop, you know, maxes out at about 35 watts, 40 watts for its charging, and um, in this case, this is on par with what the specifications say on the uh, power allocation page. So yeah, two port charging right now, charging from the two C ports at the top and 60 watts each is what's supposed to be happening right now and that seems pretty accurate let me go ahead and plug in my uh galaxy note 9. okay so uh my galaxy note 9 is fast charging from the uh, usb c3 port okay and so the accessories power bank is charging at about 60 watts and my lenovo laptop has downgraded to uh <laughs> slow charging uh, unfortunately because i'm charging it from the um c2 port right now uh in this case for three port charging the uh Oramo charger considers the uh, accessories power bank to be the priority device for uh, to receive faster charging so uh in this case um this specific case that is the uh, c1 port is outputting 30 watts the c2 port is outputting 60 watts and the uh, c3 port is outputting 30 watts which is how which is how i'm able to fast charge my uh, Galaxy Note 9 and how the power bank is charging at 60 watts 
and my Lenovo laptop is charging at only four watts because my laptop usually requires a um, 45 watt USB-C port to really fast charge with and anything lower will uh, slow charge it at about four watts or five watts just as it's doing right now. I'm pretty sure if I want my laptop to charge faster, I would just switch out these charging ports. So I'm gonna charge my power bank from uh, C2 and I'm gonna charge my laptop from C1. Um, and so yeah, let me just do that real quick. My laptop is not charging yet. Just give it a second. Okay, there we go. And oh no, my laptop is low charging once again. Uh, this yeah, so this is kind of strange. Um, when I did the review article testing, the charging power for the Lenovo laptop was prioritized over the power bank charging. Um, but not in this case, of course. <laughs> in this case, it seems like that the charging um, is being favored for the power bank over the laptop this time. Not too sure why. Um, it could be because the laptop is halfway charged. I'm not too sure if that's the case or not. But uh, yeah, that's what's happening in this case. Okay, so yeah, we're charging at about 4 watts right over here with my Lenovo laptop. I just had to place the cable under my laptop so the uh, watt meter would constantly charge the laptop because it just kept getting displaced. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and start charging my uh, LG G7 to see what happens when I charge four devices at the same time with this charger. Okay, so I have four devices charging right now from the Arimo charger. Um, my uh, LG G7 is standard, is standard charging. So no surprises right there because I believe in this case when I'm charging four devices at the same time, um, the power allocation for the C3 and the Type-A port, they're sharing a 20 watt output. And also in this case, um, my Note 9 is still fast charging. So yeah, there we go. I think the C3 port um, gets the priority faster charging, even though they're sharing a 20 watt output um, and standard charging is still going on for my LG G7. Okay, so we got that handled and my Accenture's power bank is charging at about 60 watts, 55 watts to be exact. And my Lenovo laptop is still charging at about four watts. Okay, um, and so yeah, in this case, it means that the uh, C2 uh, port is outputting 65 watts, and this means that the uh, C1 port is outputting 30 watts. Um, and so yeah, there we go. That is the adaptive um, power allocation for this Arimo charger. Um, you know, I, I think I would prefer a set power allocation, I suppose, because you have an idea of the uh, charging power coming from each of the ports, um, especially for a C, especially for a C1 and C2. Um, because, you know, like I said before, in my review article testing, you know, I, when I had uh, four devices charging at the same time, the uh, Lenovo laptop had the uh, priority faster charging while the Excitus power bank had the slower charging when charging, when they were both charging from the C1 and C2 port. I will have a, I will have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com uh, down in the description below. If you want to actually take a look at this, I did take photos of the uh, testing for this uh, charger to show that, you know, the charging difference in this case in comparison to my review article testing. Um, so yeah, this is pretty interesting. I don't know what the charger considers to be a priority um, to get the faster to get the faster charging speed, but in this case, it's different than my review article testing. I can say that for sure. And so one more test I want to run is if I'm actually able to output 60 watts of power delivery from uh, C1 and C2 at the same time. Um, so I have my basis power bank right over here charging from C2. Um, I'm getting about 60 watts. Uh, this basis power bank has a 65 watt max recharging speed. And then my Accenture's power bank is right over here. Okay, yeah, I have about 60 watts right there. And my basis power bank is charging at 60 watts as well. Yeah, about 57 watts, but you know, same thing. And the max output of the charger right now, the River 2 power station screen is reading 127 watts. Oh, there, man, let me just set my... Uh, Accenture's uh, power bank down so charging continues without any interruption okay yeah there we go so 60 watts right there for the basis power bank and 60 watts right there for the Accenture's power bank all right and max output is about 127 watts and so yeah each of these uh, two top uh, USB-C ports are able to output 60 watts each and so yeah that is my review for the Arimo 120 watt uh, power delivery charger. Um, this is a pretty interesting charger when it come when it came to that adaptive power allocation. You know, once again, um, when it comes to uh, these type of multi-port uh, power delivery chargers with you know, with a 120 watts with with a 140 watt max output, they usually have a set power allocation when charging multiple devices at the same time. Uh, this one does not. Whatever the charger prioritizes, 
that gets the faster charging. Um, a bit strange, to be honest, because, because in my review article testing, my Lenovo laptop got the priority faster charging when I was uh when I had multiple when I had multiple devices charging at the same time, um, but in this case in the, in my video review the Excitrus power bank got the priority faster charging, um you know not too sure why, but you know if I wanted my Lenovo laptop to uh, get faster charging I would just have to charge two devices at the same time rather than three um and so yeah there we go uh, that is my review for the Arimo 120 watt charger it's a, this is a pretty neat charger i got to say um it's a powerful one it's just that the uh, power allocation design is a bit um iffy at times i suppose you could say but uh, other than that um this is a powerful charger <laughs> no doubt about that you're you're absolutely able to fast charge multiple multiple devices at the same time depending on what devices you have um, the charger itself is actually really small for the power output that it features as well. And so, yeah, I will have a link to the product page for this charger down in the description below. I will also have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com in case you want to read a review uh, for it. And I will see you all on the next video. All right. Goodbye.